Graphene is the material of tomorrow. A revolutionary discovery with the potential to radically transform human society in profound and far-reaching ways. A layer of carbon just one atom thick, but 200 times stronger than steel. The thinnest, lightest and most durable material yet discovered. It's also transparent, incredibly efficient when conducting heat and electricity and amazingly versatile. Graphene can be bent and moulded and shaped into endless configurations, and its potential for problem-solving across countless fields of human endeavour is cause for very real excitement. Its unique properties make it applicable to a whole range of industrial processes, including construction, automotive, aerospace, biomedical, energy, communications and solar power. However, despite worldwide investment in graphene research, a market for practical applications remains in its infancy. One significant barrier to commercialization being the lack of agreed standards underpinning definitions and quality. BSI is working with a range of stakeholders from the world of graphene, including national laboratories, government, industry and academia. We've also increased engagement with the emerging graphene industry and are working side by side with companies involved in its production and application. After a rigorous development process, the first published standard in the field defines terminology around different forms of graphene and related 2D materials, supporting testing and validation. A challenge that we all face is that the materials in the marketplace, every single one produced out of a graphite-based product is different. That's where standards will come in. ISO 8004-13, we use that regularly now to actually characterize the materials we see in the marketplace. And in August 2018, BSI also published PAS 1201, Properties of Graphene Flakes, helping to drive down manufacturing costs and opening up industrial scale use of graphene for a whole range of fresh applications. There's a joint working group between the UK and China. It's international collaboration. And there's a company in America that has sold graphene into Ford because they wanted to improve the thermal heat dissipation of the engine block. We've developed a graphene-based ink used to create a biomedical self-diagnostic strip for use by diabetics. We are now seeing a ramp up in production, an understanding of what materials do, and I believe we are now at the tipping point of full-scale market adoption. It would be hard to overemphasize the potential of this remarkable new material, and BSI is proud to be leading the complex process of standardization, helping Graphene to complete its journey out of the laboratory and into the global marketplace.